we are quite simply one of the best in the world at what we do in terms of the machining that we do uh, and, and the parts that we manufacture, both for the spoke parts and also the bespoke work holdings and jigs for fixtures. This is really exciting news. I guess you're trying to ultimately future-proof your business. Yeah, very much so, yeah. So with the investment uh, in this new machine tool here that we see behind us, uh, it enables us to diversify a little bit more into areas of bespoke machining for uh, the aerospace industry, defence, and so on and so forth, but also enable us to do uh, subcontract machining for those clients as well. So it's, a, it's about sort of evolving and also future-proofing the business. So for anyone who doesn't know what you do, what is it that Brown and Holmes do? Because there is quite a lot, isn't there? <laughs> An awful lot, yes. Um, so, yeah, we, we are renowned for our work holdings, our bespoke work holdings uh, and uh, fixtures. Um, but we also do uh, have a large client base where we actually do subcontract machining for them. So a number of bespoke parts, very complex and detailed parts, but also quite recently larger parts, which is the, the reason for us uh, expanding out to have the machine that we have behind us. Um, it, it's, it's necessary for us to broaden our capabilities, not only in the machine tools that we have, but also the people that we're employing and look to employ in the future. So I'll speak to Jack on the machine in just a few moments time, but tell me about the people. How are you investing in the people? Brown and Holmes uh, have always had a very proud and sort of rich tradition of bringing through apprentices. So we have our own apprenticeship program. Uh, we currently have five apprentices. Uh, and they will go through pretty much every part of the business. So working on the shop floor, uh, sort of CNC programming, in the design office, uh, even going out and installing some of our products that we talked about, uh, such as the Mist Buster and the IFDR product. So they get an idea of every single facet and aspect of Brown and Holmes as a business. Uh, so we feel it's really important uh, and it's something that both Kevin and Carl, the two owners, uh, they both started at Brown and Holmes as apprentices and they've actually brought that forward and we, we have, as I say, a rich tra tradition of doing that and it's something I'm actually quite proud to be part of as well. Jack, a four metre Lagoon machine. This is a big old machine to work on. Yeah, um, the guys are really excited about it coming in. Um, everyone put their hand up with an opportunity to go on it and learn something new. But uh, yeah, it's really expanded our capabilities. So why did you need a machine like this? Uh, customer requests. Um, we've moved into a lot of different sectors and a lot of these customers are asking for bigger components to be made. So of course it's always difficult when you're trying to machine stuff via multiple setups to achieve this. Whereas now with this four meter bed, it's ideal, it really is. Okay, and tell me about the spindle on this machine as well. That kind of is another thing that caught your eye. Yeah, we've got the larger spindle on this one. Um, it's the 50. Um, we've got 4,000 RPM on this machine in particular, um, which obviously allows you to take bigger, deeper cuts, a bit more aggressive if you like. And you've got a great component on the table now too, haven't you? Yeah, at the minute we've got a large fabrication on the table, which um, brings me to the next point about the indexing head that it can also do. It's got a fourth and fifth axis. Um, this job in particular, like I say, is a perfect example of that. We can hit it to the left, to the right 90 degree, backwards 90 degree. We also at the minute have a manual indexing uh, rotary table on uh, that the job's placed on that allows us to actually use that as a C-axis. So we can actually hit all sides of this job uh, more efficiently, faster, which is a win-win for the customer and also Brown and Holmes. So what are your ongoing demands from customers then? Because obviously it's ever evolving. It is very much the case. Um, we're finding that more and more customers now are demanding more complex parts. Also the volume of, of, of parts and components that are required. So that is the reason why we have invested in more machinery. Uh, we've also expanded to another site to support our defence uh, clients in Derby, uh, where there's a final assembly going on there. Um, so yeah, we're, we're constantly looking at uh, ways in which to evolve and grow.